like it's not a true brown it's like a brown gray a bray hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome don't forget to subscribe before you head out today today i'm doing my first update for my pan that palette 2018 now if you missed my intro video i'll go ahead and link it up in the cards but this year i am panning the lolita palette which is one of the style icon palettes from mark jacobs I didn't clean it up before this update because I kind of wanted to keep it true to how I've actually been using it, but here's a clip of how it looked in my intro. And here is how my palette looks currently. I'm excited to have finally hit pan on one of the shades. And I am very close to hitting pan on two more. Now I'm going to go through the shades like from the lightest to the darkest as unfortunately none of them have actual shade names on them so I'm just going to go numbers 1 through 7. Number 1 is this matte cream shade right here and I don't think it's picking up on camera but it does have a large dip in it like I'm about to hit pan any day I just know it like it's going to happen. I've been using this every day to set my eye primer and to highlight my brow bone so I am hoping to hit pan on this one very soon. This next shade, shade number two, is like a nice transition color. Whenever I do a neutral look, I've been using this as my transition crease color. There's a little bit of a dip in there, but it's I still got a bit of a ways to go. Shade number three, this dark brown shade, I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of. I think I'm going to start using it to like set my eyeliner just to see if I could get a little bit more use out of it. Because I'm wearing it on my eyes today on the outer V. I use it to deepen it up a little bit, but honestly I'm not a huge fan of... I don't know if I can really explain it, but whenever you build it up in your outer V, it just looks muddy. Like it's not a true brown, it's like a brown gray a bray and it doesn't go with a lot of the looks that I'm trying to create so this one's probably going to be a little bit of a challenge unless I can find another way to use it. If you guys have any suggestions on how to use like these dark brown colors go ahead and let me know down below. I would love to hear some help. Next we have shade number four. This is the really glittery shade. I have it on my eyes today. It was Fallout City this morning. I'm really glad I did my eyes first because I had glitter all over my face. And I used a glitter glue, like Glitter City. Um, I do have a little bit of a dip in this one. I'm not sure if you could pick it up on camera, but since I can really only use this on my lid, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to hit pan on this one, but just because of how like Fallouty it is, maybe it won't take too long. This next shade, the one I actually hit pan on, really, really surprised me. I've been using this as a highlight because I tried it as an eyeshadow and it sucks. It's horrible as an eyeshadow by itself. It doesn't stand out enough by layering it on top of other shadows. You, it, it's just not good as an eyeshadow. So I've been using this every day. It's a face highlight. I'm actually wearing it today and I love it. Like... As you can see, I've hit a decent amount of pan on it. So I think this is the first shadow that I'm going to use up. This really surprised me because I thought the first shadow I was going to hit pan on was going to be this one right here. But hmm, you never know. Let me go ahead and show you how it looks. Because this is how it looks after wearing it all day. So I'll just get in there a little bit. it's like a duochrome light pink color and for like the winter this is like the perfect highlight and I've been wearing this as a highlight every day since I started so that's why I've got a nice amount of pan right there next one shade number six I've honestly only used once it's like a gold kind of metallic shade let me see if I can you can barely see it on camera it's not that exciting so I think I'm gonna have to find some ways to mix this one up just to get a little bit more use out of it because I think so far that's the most uninspiring color that I found in the palette. And last but not least we have shade number seven, this last one down here. It's kind of like a pewter shimmery color and it looks really pretty on camera right there. 
and it does have a little bit of a dip in there it does have a little bit of fallout too i did try building it up in my crease just to see how it would look and i got fallout like all over the place so you know if you have this be careful it does fall out but it is a prettier color definitely more inspiring than this one right before it like overall like I've been using this palette to accentuate other palettes. I've been using this to set as like a transition, maybe to darken up a little bit. I've only done a couple of looks with just this palette, including the one I'm wearing today. And I feel like this is a great opportunity for me to really find out what I like about different formulas of eyeshadows. Like I'm finding that the glittery fallout one, like it's not really worth the trouble that I have to put through just to put it on. When I have other formulas that'll go on no problem and look just as beautiful. And I'm finding that I really don't like it when like my dark browns have gray undertones because it just it makes me look more tired than I actually am. So I am excited to continue learning more about this palette and about my preferences. For my next check-in, my goal is to, oh, well, let's not blind you. For my next check-in, which will be at the end of February, I am hoping to hit pan on two more shadows. I really want to hit pan on this cream shade right up here, and I want to hit pan on the beige like transition shade that I've been using. So that's my goal for the next check-in, and I am hoping to expand this pan. I think I can use up this entire shadow by the end of March. I think I can do that. So those are my goals. That is my update. If you have any updates on your Pan That palettes, go ahead and let me know down below. I would love to follow along with your journey as well. Especially if you're panning a similar palette or another Marc Jacobs palette, I would love to subscribe and follow along. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like my Pan That palette update. And if you want to see the rest of my updates for this year, don't forget to subscribe before you head out. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!